and join me soon when I'll be getting up close with something big, something concretey, and something very familiar. Well, Mr Mitchell's with us in the studio with a rather unusual photograph. Yes, just take a look at this. What do you think this is? Any ideas? That looks like an old record turntable, but without the record. <laughs> well, it does, you <laughs> so, your age. <laughs> it's actually a scale model of Emily Moore Tower that was rediscovered in a cupboard up there recently, and it's beautifully made in a mahogany box. Comes to bits as well. What was it made for? Well, it was made in 1969 to show the local council for a planning application. They did get planning permission. It's still up there. It's been up there for 45 years, and I popped up to take a look. Standing 330 metres high or 1,084 feet, the Arkiva Tower, more commonly known as Emily Moore Mast, is visible for miles around and this year marks its 45th birthday. We're not allowed to go up to the top because the wind's too strong. In fact, it's probably getting up for about 70, 80 miles per hour. The wind's been accentuated around the, around the base of the tower. But I tell you what, just around the corner here, the wind is a lot lighter. Oh, that's tremendous. Absolutely tremendous. And here I am, back again, eight years later. And today, I am allowed to go to the top but I'm not allowed to go by myself. Here in charge of the tower is Mark Steele, and you're also in charge of the lift as well. I am. Let's go. Yep. The Grade 2 listed building is the tallest freestanding structure in the UK, standing 20 metres higher than the Shard in London. OK, well, we're on our way now, Mark. How long does it take to get to the top? Well, it takes seven minutes to get right to the top. What happens if it breaks down? Well, there is a ladder, but we won't be using that today. I admire your confidence. <laughs> Welcome to Emily Moore. Wow, fantastic. What a view. It's a little bit milky today, it's a little bit cloudy. How far can you see? Well, on a clear day, you can really see up to 60 miles. Right, I'm looking down there, the sheep are really, really tiny. How high up are we? Well, we're currently on the viewing platform just under 900 feet. But we must get struck by lightning. Up to three to four times a year we can get some big strikes, but a few little ones throughout the year. So, simple question, Mark. Why is the tower here? Well, the tower's here to be able to broadcast TV and radio to the region and that's transmitting by TV and other terrestrial TV channels. This tower is actually the third one on this site, and the original one was relatively small. It was officially opened in 1956 to provide independent television to the Yorkshire area, and it was later replaced by a taller 1,265-foot mast in 1964 when colour television was introduced. At the time, it was the tallest structure in the world, but on the 19th of March 1969, strong winds and ice brought it crashing to the ground. <laughs> It was an absolute miracle that nobody was injured at all and that the mast snaked its way and fell between the various buildings. Well, this tower's a lot more solid, isn't it, Mark? It does sway a little bit, though, in windy weather. We can see on the plumb bob here. We can, and on the plumb bob, it's just showing a little bit of movement there. And that's how the tower was designed, so the concrete allows for that movement. And I can actually show you how it was built. Oh, yeah, come on. This is how it was constructed with the original shutter in and how the concrete was poured in. You can still see the marks today. I tell you what, it's a bit rough and ready though, Mark, isn't it? It is, but it's built to last. Do you know, I think you're right. It'll last for many more years to come. Fantastic pictures, bit rough and ready, I tell you, you've changed in eight years, haven't you? I've fallen over a few times as well. Yes, exactly, it's <laughs> to do with the wind, I think. Are you ready for your weather? Indeed. Here we go. Here he is.